Well, after almost three months of a lockdown, China has started easing restrictions. Uh, and while the Chinese cities are now slowly coming back to life, there is no going back to normal. Our next report looks at how China's three big cities, Wuhan, Beijing and Shanghai, have changed in the post-pandemic world. months ago, the city of Wuhan resembled a ghost town. The epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic, Wuhan was under a complete lockdown for more than 75 days. But now, the economic hub seems to be springing back to life. From empty roads to slowly growing traffic, not everything in Wuhan is the same again. With the fear of a second wave looming large, the people of Wuhan are living in a new post-pandemic reality. Wearing face masks has become a part of their daily life for the residents of China. Even with the lifting of restrictions, social distancing is a must, with people sitting and standing at a distance from each other. In Beijing's reopened workplaces, routine body temperature checks are compulsory for everyone. As people return to work, offices and public spaces in the capital have stepped up their hygiene measures. Authorities are also using a color-coded health system to dictate where citizens can go. The software installed in popular Chinese apps like WeChat or Alipay asks people to fill out a health survey. After that, the software issues them with green, yellow or red health code deciding where they can go. In Shanghai, the scenario is no different, with some signs of life in the city's financial centre. After more than three months, Shanghai Disneyland has reopened its doors to visitors. However, not everything at the theme park is how it was before. Instead of parades and fireworks, Mandatory masks and social distancing has become the new look of the park. But even as large parts of mainland China reopen, what the Chinese are returning to isn't quite the same in this post-pandemic world. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.